Breeding cheetahs can be a difficult task, and for many years it was thought to be nearly impossible in a conservation setting. Thankfully, through shared knowledge and continued research, there have been incredible breakthroughs to help cheetah breeding be what it is today. Which is why we are participating in efforts involved with an entity like the Smithsonian to collect semen samples from seven of our cheetahs. With the assistance of our vet staff and carnivore staff, Dr. Crozer, a reproductive physiologist, and her colleague Julie were able to perform an electroejaculation procedure. I think I'll let one of our vets, Holly Hayfleet, get into the nitty gritty. We often perform electroejaculation procedures um, in a species where breeding is difficult. For cheetah, artificial insemination uh, can be used, but it hasn't been super successful. So we're trying to refine those techniques, and that's one of the reasons why we're collecting semen on our cats. We have a large number of cheetahs, so it was easy for um, Dr. Crozier to come down from Smithsonian's Conservation Biology Institute and spend two days. We were able to collect on seven cats. And there's a one animal in particular that Dr. Crozier was wanting to bank because he has never bred. Um, and cheetahs, we know they're tricky to breed in captivity and some never get the hang of it. And this is one of those cats. So we wanted to um, make sure that we had his genetic material banked. And then she's able to use that, uh, those samples for multiple scientific projects that she's working on. Well, there you have it. As difficult as it can be to discuss the birds and the bees, even with cheetahs, this gives you some idea of the efforts being done behind the scenes to preserve this species.